Hi, I'm Christina with Tina Girl Life. I work in education and I often ask kids who are heading off to middle school what they're stressed out most about. Number one is learning to open their locks. And the second thing is getting locked in their lockers. Now I can't help you with getting locked in your locker. Let me just say it's highly unlikely that'll happen, but I can help you with learning to unlock your lock. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna be using some terms today. Right, which is clockwise, and left, which is counterclockwise. So clockwise meaning the way that a clock goes, counterclockwise being the backwards way that a clock goes. So what I do is I just kind of spin this around a couple of times to the right or clockwise um, to the zero. Let's just start at zero. Now we're gonna go clockwise to the four. Okay, we're at four. Now we're gonna go past the four. So we're gonna sort of go around twice to the 10. So we're gonna go not straight to the 10, we're gonna go past the four again and to the 10. Okay, so the four was there, we're going over to the 10. And then we're gonna go straight to 36. Let's look at it on another lock. This is my vintage lock from high school. I got this in middle school and I've had it many, many years. It's practically an antique. 25, 51, 33 is my old locker combination. This thing is so smooth because it's been used so long. So start at the zero. We're going to go past 25, around 225. There we are. 25, past the 51, 251, and then straight down to 33. Okay, so you might be using a lock that looks like this. The only difference between these two locks is this one has just the center part that spins and this part, the numbers spin. Okay, they work the same way. Let's go back to this lock. Let's do this one again, 4, 10, 36. I'm actually gonna write it here on the paper so that you can see where I'm going. 4, 10, 36. Okay. So we're going to go, we're going to go past the zero, four, past the 10, stop at the 10, and 36. Okay. So we go right, left, right. Let's try it again. Four, ten, thirty-six. Okay, so that first one, let's go over it in more detail. So I'm gonna spin it around a couple of times just to clear it inside. Always spin it clockwise. Four. Now I can't just go straight to the ten. I have to go past the ten. That resets whatever's inside there. So four. Okay, so we went clockwise. So now we're going to go counterclockwise. Past the 10 to the 10. And now this one, we can go right back to the number. So now we're going to go clockwise again, and we're going to go to 36. There we go. Okay, a little trick that I used to do in, in school was when I was done at my locker, I would come back and I and I'd do the first two numbers. So I'd go four... 10 and then I just leave it there okay and then so when I come to my locker I knew I could just go boom 36 and open it up so I wasn't in such a rush and just wiggle it around and then it'll kind of mess things up there okay one last time let's do it right turning to the right four past the 10 go to the 10 and over to 36 there you go. I hope this helps. Just insert your own numbers into there and do it the same way. Right, left, right.